What's going on everybody? This is Zach with Strictly Shisha. I hope you guys are doing well. So I've been getting a lot of requests to do more Azure tobacco reviews and I'll tell you guys a little bit of a secret. I don't smoke a lot of Azure tobacco. Don't get me wrong. It's a great, very high quality and the flavor profiles are super accurate, but this stuff packs a punch. It's super buzzy and I don't have that much of a nicotine tolerance. It really gets to me, but I want to do it for you guys. So I picked up some of the new flavors. Today I'm reviewing the strawberry passion fruit. And immediately when I saw that flavor, I was like, oh, I wish I got something else because I don't know if I'm going to like that flavor. Strawberry is notoriously a very difficult flavor for tobacco companies to execute. It's just, it's very hard to get a actual representation of a strawberry. So I wasn't very hopeful for it, but I've been smoking this stuff and I've been pleasantly surprised. I've been really enjoying it. So Azure Tobacco, great stuff. In terms of buzz, I would say it's even more stronger than Tangiers. It makes Trifecta Dark look like a blonde leaf. This stuff is powerful. I mean, one bowl and I'm super buzzed for the day. I kind of have this rule. I don't smoke Azure during the day because I'm just so lazy. I just want to take a nap and it's the middle of the day. I'm about to go to work, but I'm doing it for you guys. I definitely recommend this stuff at night, right before bed. This stuff will put you to sleep. And I know a lot of you chase that buzz. So if you're looking for a tobacco that packs that punch, that has that buzz, definitely look at Azure. It's very high quality, super high performing when you get it right. And I'm telling you, flavor profiles in this are pretty awesome. So let's jump into it. So the setup for today's excellent Azure session is in a Russian first hookah. Have it paired with a soft touch silicone hose and a shisha bucks tip. A bit of a Frankenstein setup, but it's smoking so well. I packed the Azure in a Bambino V1. If you guys have been watching past videos, I've been in love with the V2, but I thought the increased depth of the V1 will work really nicely with Azure's fluff pack. So how did I pack this? Azure is very finely chopped and really sticky, so I broke it up as much as possible and I fluffed it into the bowl right up to the rim of the bowl. Then I patted it out just ever so slightly below the rim and it ends up leading to a pack that's very similar to how you'd pack Alfokker and I found this to be the best results. When I dense packed it, it was kind of a throat hitty and harsh, so once you get the pack right, you don't get that throat hit at all, but of course you still get that buzz. You can't escape the buzz with Azure, but once you get that pack right, I mean the flavor profiles are so pronounced and beautiful. Uh, of course, I have a Provost with three Prestige Flats in here. If you guys watched that uh, Provost video, you guys saw that I typically started with the lid more on the inside here with increased heat. But but with the Azure, I found that it performs extremely well and thrives in lower heat environments. So that doesn't mean Azure is heat sensitive at all. It just works better with lower heat, which is great for me because I can actually increase the duration of my session with less coals. And with a small bowl like this and the fact that you're not having to dense it, I'm saving coals and saving tobacco. So that pouch of Azure goes a lot further. So I might be a new Azure smoker on a daily basis. I've been really enjoying these sessions so far, but let's get into this flavor. Like I mentioned, strawberry is a difficult flavor for a lot of brands to execute. That's why I see most brands don't have a strawberry, but this has been excellent. And I think it's because of that passion fruit. Strawberry tends to be kind of a dry, kind of flat flavor, but when you pair it with that crisp zestiness, that zing coming from the passion fruit, it pairs so well. So it's not overly sweet. You get the sourness from the passion fruit. You get the sweet dryness from that strawberry. And that marriage is just perfect. In my head, I was thinking, what would be a better pair with strawberry? And I think passion fruit is ideal. So Azure, you guys did great with this, better than I could have ever dreamed of. That strawberry passion fruit is perfect. The strawberry and the passion fruit are perfectly balanced. It's just, oh, it's great. Like I said, I didn't think I was gonna like it and I am loving this. I've been choosing to smoke this on a daily basis right now and it's been so great. Granted, I can only handle like one bowl at a time, especially during the day, but it's been awesome. And you guys know me, typically I always like to pair my flavors with mint. I think it just elevates it a little bit, it gives it that freshness that I personally enjoy. With this flavor, I don't need any mint at all. I even packed it with a bit of Azure Rio Mint. It didn't need it, it didn't bring anything to the session. As is, as a standalone, this strawberry passion fruit is perfect. So if you guys are looking to chase that buzz, you want a very high quality, very high performing tobacco that has an accurate representation of the flavors, you need to check out Azure. Like I said, I'm on board now. I think I'm gonna add Azure to my daily rotation and I appreciate you guys encouraging me to check out Azure because like I said, I've smoked in the past. That buzz was hard for me to handle but I think it's worth it. Even for me, someone who doesn't prefer buzz, these flavor profiles are delicious. He has a way with flavors. And when I first tried Azure, like, I don't know, maybe like a year ago, I said that to him immediately. I was like, you have a way with flavors. You have that Tangier's way of flavors, you know? 
but Tangiers doesn't have the performance that I like. With the Zura, you get the longevity, you get the smoke output. It's perfect for me. So obviously, I am going to recommend this flavor to you guys. So check it out at hookah-shisha.com. And don't forget to use my discount code, Strictly Shisha, to save 15%. And feel free, drop more recommendations. Send me a DM. Email me at strictlyshisha.com. For whatever you guys want to see, if I can get my hands on it, I will try and review it for you guys. But I hope you guys are staying safe, doing well, taking care of yourselves, and enjoying your smoking sessions. I'll see you guys on the next review because it's time for me to go to work. Bye, everybody.